I'm pleased to announce that in the coming weeks we will be starting a series on the PixHawk flight controller. Now those of you that have been following the channel for quite some time will know that the APM flight controller, which is the PixHawk's baby brother, or older brother, not sure quite how that goes around, but the previous version of the PixHawk, which was called the APM, has come to the end of its life, starting to be picked up by communities to support, and the APM is a great board if you want to do smooth soaring control, it has a fantastic interface, great to set up, and it also has the best GPS implementations that I've seen on the boards that we use here on the channel. But the PixHawk is the successor to that. It's the newer 32-bit implementation with improved sensors and bits and pieces as well. And that is the one that we're going to start covering in the near future. The reason for this video is twofold. First of all, I want to ask you, my subscribers, what is it you want to see in the PixHawk series? We have a couple of APM series already on the channel. We've also had series on things like the MultiWii, CC3D, NAS A32, all kinds of different ones. And my intention is to kind of cover broadly the same scope. So going through from setting up very simply right the way through to some of the more advanced features on the board. But I'd like to know what is it you actually want to see? Because the feedback I got recently when we started looking at putting a series together for the Tyrannus radio was fantastic and really allowed us to put together a really comprehensive set of videos that were covering everything that you wanted to see. So please, in the comments underneath, let me know what it is you want to see, or if you have a PixHawk already, something that you didn't quite understand, or that was a challenge for you that we can cover in the videos to help newer pilots and builders. The second reason for this video is to say a massive, massive thank you to the gentleman that's sending the PixHawk and associated bits and pieces to me to enable us to put this series together. This gentleman doesn't want to be named, but he is a fantastic supporter of the channel and has sent things to me in the past. And I just want to say publicly here, very, very big thank you to him and for all the effort that he's put into making sure that the channel has technology that we can all use, enjoy and benefit from with the videos that we're all putting together. So in summary, please take a bit of time, put your thoughts together and pop them on a comment underneath this video. We'll put them into the bag so that we can work on them as we start to put a PixHawk series together. And secondly, I'm sure you'll join me in thanking the individual that's sending the PixHawk through. It's going to help us cover that in great detail and hopefully will provide a great resource for those of you that are looking to put PixHawk based systems together now that the APM support has been retired. Thank you for taking the time to watch that video. There are lots of other videos on the channel and they're carefully ordered into playlists. So you may find that there are other videos on this same subject that you can go and watch. So I would recommend going into the playlist area of Painless360 YouTube channel and looking around and seeing what there is. You never know what you might find. Thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe and happy flying.